can end up with major trouble with that. You could actually uh, look at what happens to the glandular system of the body. You have a complete breakdown of the human endocrine system if you take too much vitamin D. And you're going to see an onslaught of new diseases at this point from taking the chemical form of D3 because nobody even talked about it a few months ago. And now this is the big hit, you know, the one with the spotlight shining on it, uh, for the pharmaceutical and supplement industry now. So you go into the doctor, and the doctor is going to tell you to take some ungodly 5,000 units of it a day or milligrams of it a day. And you'll end up with the endocrine system breaking down, which, by the way, produces immune system cells. So you'll have an autoimmune disorder start to occur. And we can see, you know, uh, different problems that have been clinically tested before. Uh, for instance, as an example, back in the 30s, uh, scientists knew about synthetic vitamin D, and they looked at women as offspring uh, uh, with a risk of birth defects. And in 19, I think it was 37, as I recall, they looked at 90 women who received the synthetic form of vitamin D, which they're still prescribing. This is what doctors and mainstream doctors and alternative doctors are prescribing. And the placenta itself showed calcification beyond normal expectation or experience. Fetal heads were less molded. That means the child's brain and head and skull were not formed the way they should. And there were lines less distinct and general appearance were completely different. Uh, when these children grew up, uh, and they were having problems and things that today probably would cause autistic type of situations. The other thing that they found is that the poor women suffered uh, much more pain and discomfort and medical problems when they were taking the vitamin D during the birthing process itself. Wow. You also mentioned in the book that the the vitamin D, the term the, the actually refers to a group of steroid molecules. That's right. Now, there's nothing that- wrong, you know, when you hear the word steroid, you have to remember this, that steroids are something that we manufacture, although they are naturally occurring within the body, too. So where mankind and science got way off track is we get a little bit of knowledge from nature, like, hey, the body has steroids in and of the, itself, and they produce in the what? The endocrine system, the glandular system, and that's why it attacks it when you put the wrong steroid in. Well, basically... You know, it's like a kid who gets a, a one-day education in flying a plane and the next day gets onto a jet and says, I want to fly it. And we go off the deep end and we start flying around in the sky and saying we know everything there is to know about vitamin D when we've had a one-day education. And these steroids that they're making, this chemical variety of it, is highly dangerous. That's why it creates deformity in, in infants. That's why it creates uh, potential heart attacks and strokes. And I even believe it has a relationship and correlation with mental problems. 